Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I believe I find you well and I hope I find you well. This is Prophet Lister Simbarashet Lakuseni. I'm coming to you by the special grace of God to share the word of God with you. The word of God is power. The word of God has power to transform. The word of God has power to change lives. The word of God has power to heal. The word of God has power. Hallelujah. So today I'm here by the special grace of God to share the word of God with you and to bring transformation upon your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. I hope and I believe that by the end of this program, you have your lives touched, your lives will be transformed. There will be a shift in the spiritual realm in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you to have your Bibles with you. Have your Bibles near you, for we're going to share from the Word of God and the Word of God, the undiluted Word of God. Hallelujah. Uh, today, I want to share with you uh, on a very simple topic, but very important in the lives of each and every one person. Uh, I want to share from the book of Matthew, chapter 2. 25 verse 14 i'm going to read matthew chapter 25 verse 14 up to 30 hallelujah and it reads it the parable of the talents for the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them and to one he gave five talents to another two and to another one, to each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on to a journey. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them and made another five talents. And likewise, he who had received two gained two more also. But he who had received one went and dug in the ground and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you delivered to me five talents. Look, I have gained five more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also who had received two talents came and said, Lord, you delivered, two, you delivered to me two talents. Look, I have gained two more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man. Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid and went and hid your talent in the ground. Look there, you have, look there, you have what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, you wicked and lazy servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers, and at my coming I would have received back my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has ten talents. For to everyone who has more will be given, and he will have abundance. But from him who does not have even what he has will be taken away and cast the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Hallelujah. This is the word of God. And uh, we want to draw some lessons from this script, from the scriptures today. This is the word of God, and it is power. Hallelujah. The Bible is teaching us today. It says, this is Jesus Christ teaching in the form of parables. And we find that as Jesus Christ was about to to be crucified he began to teach more in parables to his disciples 
and he began to teach and to prepare them even for his second coming. And in this parable of the talents, we hear Jesus Christ likening the kingdom of heaven to a man traveling to a far country. And he called his servants and delivered to them his goods. He delivered his goods to them. I want you to understand, child of God, that as we are here on earth, as we are here on earth, we are stewards. We are stewards. A steward is someone who is entrusted to take care of someone else's goods. A steward is someone who is entrusted to take care of someone else's goods. We, as we are here on earth, we are stewards for God. We are stewards. God has trusted us with his goods. God has trusted us with his goods. And I want you to understand that there is a difference between the owner and a steward. There is a difference between the owner and a steward. Hallelujah. The Bible says in verse 15, to one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one each according to his own ability, and immediately he went on the journey. I want you to understand, child of God, that we are not all given the same. We have not all received the same. We have been given differently, and what we have received is according to our abilities. What you have received is according to your ability. What I have received is according to my ability. I want you to understand, child of God, that each and every one of us has received something. You have received something. Your brother has received something. Your sister has received something. Your neighbor has received something. To some, he gave five. To another, he gave two. To another, he gave one. My question to you today is how many talents have you received? How many talents do you have? How many talents do you possess? Hallelujah. So to some he gave five, to another he gave two, and to another he gave one. And the Bible is saying each received according to his own ability. So God knows our ability. The Lord knows what we are capable of achieving. The Lord knows what we are capable of outputting. So whatever he has given to us, it means there is an expected uh, increase. There is an expected output. And because we are stewards, the question is, are you a good steward or you are a bad steward? Hallelujah. I want you to answer this question by the end of this service. You must be able to answer this question. Are you a good steward or you are a bad steward? Now, if God has trusted you with five talents, if God has trusted you with two talents, if God has trusted you with one talent, what are you doing with the talent? Another question I want to ask you is, do you know your talent? Do you know your talent? You need to be able to identify, child of God, your talent. In the walk of Christianity, in the walk of life, you need to be able to identify your talent. Because I want you to understand that God will not come down and begin to shift things for people. When we pray, the answer to your prayer is another man. When you pray, the answer to your prayer is another man. When you pray, the answer to your prayer is another man. God will send another person to answer your prayer. God will send another person with the answer to your prayers. Hallelujah. So as we have received five talents, as we have received two talents, as we have received one talent, what are you doing with the talent? And do you know your talent? How many talents do you, have you received? Hallelujah. That is a question I want you to answer. How many talents have you received? Hallelujah. Bible says in verse 16, we continue going down. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them and made another five talents. Hallelujah. So the one who received five talents, he went and began to work. He went and began to produce. He went and he began to multiply. And the Bible says he produced five more talents, which made him to have ten now. And likewise, he who had received two gained two more also. Hallelujah. Wow, we give glory to God. So the man who received two talents, he also went to work. He also went to produce. 
He also went to multiply. And the Bible says he produced two more talents also. He went and began to win souls. He went because he was a pastor. Maybe he was an evangelist. I want you to understand, child of God, that your talent, you use your talent in what God has called you for. Maybe you're a banker. That is your talent. Maybe you're a teacher. That is your talent. Maybe you're a builder. That is your talent. Hallelujah. Maybe you're a pastor. That is your talent. Maybe you're an evangelist. That is your talent. How, how are you using the talent? Hallelujah. What are you using the talent for? Maybe you're a praise and worshiper. Maybe you're an intercessor. Maybe you're in media. Maybe you're a newspaper. You're a journalist. That is your talent. How, how are you using your talent? Maybe you're a writer. How are you using your talent? Hallelujah. Your talent must be used to multiply. Your talent must be used to build. Hallelujah. Today, I challenge you to begin to identify your talent and begin to multiply in your talent. Hallelujah. Begin to produce in your talent. The Bible says in verse 18, But he who had received one went and dug in the ground and hid his Lord's money. Wow. I want you to understand that there is a difference in attitude here. There is a difference in attitude. The one who received one, though it was little compared to the others, but he had a different attitude. He went to hide it. He went, to, he went and he dug in the ground. He went to dig in the ground. Maybe he went to the back of his garden and he hid his talent. It means he never used his talent. He went and maybe he went to sleep and he says, oh, I have received less than the others. So I do not need to produce. Let them produce. He went to sleep. He didn't use what he had. Hallelujah. He didn't try to multiply what he had. Because in digging in the ground, it shows that he was not even interested in trying at all. Hallelujah. And he hid his Lord's money. And after a long time, the Lord of, the, of those servants, he came and settled accounts with them. I want you to understand this child of God that in all that we have received as stewards, we are not the owners. And as we are not the owners, it means we are going to be accountable. We are going to be responsible. We are going to be accountable to the owner. Hallelujah. We are going to be accountable to the owner. One day the owner is going to come and begin to ask us to settle accounts with him. Hallelujah. The owner is going to come. So after a long time, the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. It does not matter how long it may take. Sometimes it may take a long time. It may appear like it's taking a long time before the owner is coming. But it does not make you the owner. It does not make you the owner, you are still the steward. You are still the one responsible to take care of whatever has been put in your care. You are supposed to take care. You are supposed to be responsible. You are supposed to handle with care. You are supposed to follow the instruction that has been given to you because one day we are going to be accountable. One day the Lord of our, our Lord is going to come and we have to settle accounts with him. Hallelujah. And who is this Lord? This Lord is Jesus Christ. One day we need to settle our accounts with Jesus Christ based on what we have received. And the Bible says in verse 20, So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you delivered to me five talents. Look, I have gained five more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. He also who had received two talents came and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents. Look, I have gained two more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Wow, we give praise and glory to God. These were good and faithful servants. Whatever they received, they multiplied. Whatever they received, they multiplied. When we have been trusted uh, with certain things, when you have been trusted 
with certain goods when we've been trusted with properties can we be trusted to take good care of the property can we be entrusted in the positions that we have been put in in the position whether you are in uh, working in a private organization whether you're in a government organization can you be trusted in the position that you've been put can you be trusted to produce in that position that you are in hallelujah that is the question that we are uh, that is being asked today hallelujah that is the question that i have for you today so the one who received five he went into and produced and he got a good report from his master the one who got two talents he went to produce and he got a very good report from his master hallelujah because the one who, pro who got five produced five more and he had ten the one who got two produced two more and he had four hallelujah and he entered into the joy of the lord then he who had received the one talent verse 24 came and said lord i knew you to be a hard man reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed wow 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 now we hear and we now understand why the one who received the one talent did not produce anything it is because of his attitude towards his master it was because of his perception towards his master it was because of his mindset towards his master what do you think towards the people who are responsible what do you think of the people who are in authority above you it makes a difference on your output it makes your difference on your work hallelujah the bible says what do you think about even the lord what do you think about the lord god do you when you look at god do you see him as an unjust god do you see him as an unjust ruler hallelujah the bible says he came he says lord i knew you to be a hard man when you look at jesus christ do you look at him as a hard man how do you see him do you look at him as a man reaping where he has not sown and gathering where he has not scattered seed hallelujah i the master gave seed to the servants the master gave seed to the stewards and he expected the stewards to be productive he gave them command to be productive hallelujah god will not come down on earth and begin to win souls it is up to you and i child of god to go out and win souls it is up to you child and i child of god it is up to you and i to go out and begin to bring people to jesus christ hallelujah we need to win souls to jesus christ we need to multiply using the talents that we have been given if you are a banker be a banker with a difference if you are a teacher be a teacher with a difference be a good steward if you are in private sector in governmental organizations if you are in a church organization be responsible be know that you are accountable one day to the one who has sent you you are accountable to the master so the attitude goes down to when that you look at yourself as the owner or you look at yourself as a steward that is the difference that is what is going to bring the difference in attitude if you have been entrusted to produce you will produce if you take entitlement and you think you look at yourself you say no i am the owner when you are the owner then you are not accountable it means the buck stops with you and you will not be accountable to anyone but if you are a steward as we are stewards today you will know you are accountable to someone and you will know that you have to produce results hallelujah when you are accountable to someone you will know you have to produce results i want to encourage you today to have a shift in attitude i want to encourage you today to have a different attitude towards what has been entrusted to you today if it is property that has been entrusted to you begin to 
handle it knowing that you're one day you're going to be accountable that talent that has been entrusted with you begin to use it wisely if it is the gift of music do not wait to be pushed to sing for god do not wait to be pushed to sing to praise and worship him use that gift if it is intercession use that gift Everyone has been given something. Some were given five. Some were given two. Some were given one. Everyone has been given something. There is no one who did not receive. There is no one who does not have a gift. Hallelujah. So I want to encourage you today, child of God, that let this word bring a change in your life. Let this word bring deliverance in your life. If you have not yet identified your talents, today I pray as a servant of God, I pray as a prophet of God, may you begin to discover your talents in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He who had received one talent said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown. Oh my God. And gathering where you have not scattered. Hallelujah. There is a problem with the attitude of this man. And I was afraid. Hallelujah. And I was afraid and went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have what is yours. So fear pushed this man to go and hide. This man was afraid. I've always taught that fear is a trap of the enemy. Fear is a trap of the enemy. So this man's fear caused him not to produce work. Your fear can hinder you from being productive. Your fear can hinder you from being progressive. Your fear can hinder you from multiplying. I pray today against that fear, that fear of starting new things, that fear of achieving great things, that fear of greatness, that fear of responsibility, that fear of unknown, unknown fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Be delivered from fear in the name of Jesus. Be delivered from your fear right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray today. He says, I was afraid and I went to hide your talent in the ground. Here is what is yours. Here have what is yours. Hallelujah. May your fear not hinder you from progress today. I pray today by the anointing upon my head and the grace upon this ministry that may you be delivered from fear today. That fear that has been hindering you from progressing. That fear that has hindered you from going forward. That fear that has hindered you from multiplying. May you be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. May you be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Be delivered right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, you must be set free today in the name of Jesus Christ. There must be a renewal of your mind in the name of Jesus Christ. Your mind must be renewed today in the name of Jesus Christ. But his Lord answered and said to him, You wicked and lazy servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers and at my coming I would have received back my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has ten talents. For to everyone who has, more will be given, and he who has abundance. But from him who does not have, even what he has will be taken away. And cast the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. I pray today that may your fear not hinder you from progress. May your fear not block your judgment. May your fear not cause you to make wrong decisions. May your fear not cause you not to take action. You need to take action. You need to know that you are responsible. And after tonight, may you begin to take that action in the name of Jesus Christ. So him who had received one talent because of his evil thoughts, what are the thoughts that you think of those who are above you? What are the thoughts that you think towards your supervisors? What are the thoughts that you think towards your pastors? What are the thoughts that you think towards your men of God? What are the thoughts that you think towards the one who gives you response the one who is giving you work what are the thoughts that you think towards your supervisor hallelujah the your attitude what are the thoughts if you are a student what are the thoughts that you have towards your teacher hallelujah your attitude and your mindset towards that person who is delegating work to you your mindset and your attitude towards that person who is 
uh, entrusting you with their goods, entrusting you with their possessions, it matters a lot. It matters a lot. Those who had a correct attitude, those who had a correct mentality, they managed to do work and they produced and they multiplied. May you begin to multiply in the name of Jesus Christ. May you begin to multiply today in the name of Jesus Christ. May you begin to multiply. May you increase in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. May you increase abundantly. May you increase abundantly in the name of Jesus Christ. Your fear today, it will not hinder you from progressing. I come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I come in the name that is above every other name. That is the name of Jesus Christ, which at the name of Jesus Christ, then every knee must bow and every tongue shall confess today, today that fear is leaving you. That fear is leaving you. That fear is leaving you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever that has been clouding your judgment today, tonight, today, 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 right now, right now, I command it to loose you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every opposition to your position, every opposition to your position, whatever that has hindered you from progressing, whatever that is clouded your judgment today today i command them to loose you and let you go every power that had blocked your vision every power that has caused you not to see your breakthrough in the name of jesus christ you are breaking through in the name of jesus you are breaking through in the name of jesus christ may you be a good steward whatever that has been given to you as i have said that there is no one who has not received something. There is no one who does not have a talent. Everyone has got a talent. You have your talent. I have my talents. Let us utilize our talents for the goodness of the Lord. One better citizen makes a better country. One better citizen makes a better uh, continent. One better citizen makes a better world. May you become a better citizen today in the name of Jesus Christ. May you become a better citizen today in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, for more on our messages, you can contact us. Uh, I want to pray with you today. I want to pray with you today uh, the prayer of salvation. The greatest miracle is not when blind eyes are open the greatest miracle is not when uh the lame walk the greatest miracle is when one soul receives jesus christ the greatest miracle is when a lost soul receives jesus christ i want you to pray with me this prayer if you have not yet received jesus christ or maybe you have backslidden pray with me right now lord jesus christ i come to you now i know that you died for me and on the third day you rose, that I may have life to the fullest. Lord Jesus, come into my life now. Be the Lord and Savior of my life. From today, I am a child of God. Lord Jesus, erase my name from the book of death. Rewrite my name in the book of life. From today, I am a child of God. The past is gone. Devil, I hate you. From today, I am a child of God. Welcome Welcome. If you have prayed that prayer with me, I want you to contact us. I want you to contact us. I want you to contact us on WhatsApp. I want you to contact us on email. I want you to contact us on our Facebook pages. Prophet Lister Simbarash at Lakseni, that is our Facebook page. Uh, our WhatsApp number is plus 263-782-095-055. God bless you. Shalom. I love you.